Welcome back. Today we are making kimchi, this type of fermented slaw essentially that you can put and pair with different meals through the fermented process, the fermentation process we get these wonderful bacteria called probiotics. So this food is fantastic in flavor because it's pungent, it's salty, it's gripping, it's delicious, but also it's really good for our gut and you can make it at home. So let's talk about what fermentation is and what probiotics are. Fermentation is a process that supports your microbiome. This is an ecosystem of bacteria that live within your digestive tract. The digestive tract is a tube inside of your body that runs from your esophagus, right behind your mouth, all the way down to your rectum. And within this tube, you have good and bad bacteria. This is really important to pay attention to because a healthy gut so the healthy tube that runs from your esophagus to your rectum, if you have good bacteria living within there, you can support a healthy immune system, good nutrient absorption, and good digestion. Probiotics come into play here because they are naturally rich in healthy bacteria. Their function in the body is to break down and digest food. The, they train the immune system. They help to regulate the inflammation to keep it at a steady level and these are found in whole foods and supplements so fermentation is the process that gives you this healthy um, pro bacteria otherwise known as probiotics so first you want to start by sterilizing all of your materials i do that by putting boards my knives my the jars that all the food goes in you want to sterilize everything in boiling water for five minutes here we have a peeler some tongs, a ladle so that I can mix the dressing, and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna start by cutting and then we'll talk it once I'm done. finish the chopping process this is our final beautiful product I'm gonna mix it all up um, I used a crock pot to put everything into instead of a big old bowl so I'm gonna mix all this up and then I'm gonna put it in these jars which I already sterilized um, and just a tip I did make some changes to the recipe I'm gonna post for you guys in the comments I always use a little dish when I'm cutting and cooking because then you can keep all your bits and scraps from the vegetables and make a vegetable stock. The reusing all the scraps you would have thrown away. Also, I added a lot more garlic than the recipe calls for. I used about two tablespoons of salt. Chopped everything very finely into thin little cuts. Just chop it really small. All right, we're gonna get started on packing it into the jars. are the beauties aren't they beautiful so I'm just gonna shake these up um, and then all you do is keep it in a cool dry place I'll probably put it in this corner for at least four to five days and up to one month so the directions say that you have to shake these every day they do take their like little plants you have to take care of them every day so that you can get a good product but this is a lot of fun. I mean, it takes a little while, but you know, if you're gonna clean your kitchen anyway, you might as well whip up a nice batch of kimchi. The reason I put this little saran wrap on top is so that it doesn't hit the metal part when I shake it every day um, because that can lead to taste alterations. Yeah, let me know if you try it and let me know how you like this recipe. I'm gonna put it in the description below. Thank you very much for joining. It was a pleasure and I'll see you next time.